Hey, welcome to Pat Mark, and today it's a brand new Saturday morning ukulele lesson for the brand new song by Sean Menz called If I Can't Have You. What I'm going to be doing is going through all the chords, like breaking everything down, and even the little verse picky bits as well. I'll be showing you exactly how you can play that on the ukulele. So, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Pat Mark and hit that bell notification to be told of the next great upload. We've got loads of other great pop songs and anything in the charts at the moment, so definitely stick around. So basically the chords we are going to need are a G chord, an F sharp minor, an E minor, and there are some other bits like um, for the verse, but I'll just break them down. But those are the f those are the three main chords that we're going to need for the chorus. So if you don't know how to play those chords, then skip right ahead. Or if you don't, I just want a quick reminder. I'll be going through them right now. So the G chord is first string, second fret, second string, third fret, third string. 2nd fret and open on the top string At F sharp minor is open on the 1st string 2nd string 2nd fret 3rd string 1st fret 4th string 2nd fret And our E minor chord is 1st string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret, and 3rd string, 4th fret. And leave that top string open. Okay, so the intro, which also happily starts off as the chorus as well, that is G to F sharp minor to E minor back to F sharp minor. The F sharp minor just kind of works as a let's just step the chord between the um, the G and the E minor. But you do need it, so. Kind of like that, so it's very punchy. It's down, down. You may like uh, it does take a bit how like uh, a bit of getting used to doing the G to F sharp minor to the E minor back to the F sharp minor and the G. It does take a while, so you keep practicing that. So you know that. And then, da -da 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 -da, if I can have you. Those final three chords is like, um, just like, uh, what we're doing before is much more punchy, and kind of if you want to, you can mute that. But these last three chords is like, a, the lets the piano ring out a little bit, so I'd just say, kind of like, don't mute it, just strum it. And let it ring out. Do, 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 if I can't have you If I can't have you So I really should have learned lyrics for this but you know just you can listen to it and use your ears and really do what you feel sounds best. Okay, now on to the verse and the pre-chorus, but this is by far the hardest bit of the song. You can chords for it, but it does not sound nearly as good. It's not really how he plays it. Well, translated onto you clearly in the song. The way he plays it is like... First, he had G chord, so... For this whole bit, I would just say play the third string, second string, and first string for all of the verse. So, three, two, one, 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 
and that's uh, like I say, start off with a G, and then it will be playing a effectively uh, an F sharp minor, but I would play it like don't play how we did before that. Play it like get the G chord and scooch that down one fret, and take your first take your middle finger off the first string, so you'll be effectively playing open on the bottom, second fret of the second string, and first fret of the third string. So three, two, one. Then you want to be playing a B chord. But like that again is with this, like um, just again this G shape, and move up to your sixth fret. So do so it's G, F sharp minor, B. Then we go back down. Then a fourth chord of this verse is our E minor. This is probably the tr trickiest change, going from that B to the E minor. And then back down to the F sharp minor that we played before, the one on the uh, open first fret, second string, second fret, and first fret of the third string. So G, F sharp minor, B, B minor, F sharp minor, G. Again, G, F sharp minor, B. E minor, F sharp minor, G. This next bit starts again on the G, but this t the only difference really for this bit is you don't like in, on the G chord, third, third, third string, second string, but you want to be hammering on from an open first string to the um, second fret. That's literally the only thing different. So, do 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 the G, F sharp minor, B, E minor, F sharp minor, G, G, hammer on, F sharp minor, B, and then we change, and then we go for like um, from plucking to strumming. Well, yeah, strumming the a G, a regular G. F sharp minor, the full bar chord, the full chord, and an E minor. So I'll do it again. So G, hammer on, wait for it. Strum G, strum F sharp minor, strum E minor. Was that builds us up into the chorus which we did exactly before? So down, 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 and then for the second bit when you properly like it properly kicks in, you might want to change your strain pattern up. So it's less of a punchy one and more of a down, 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 up, down. So it's down, 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 down. Then for that last bit, just hold, hold, if I can't have you. F sharp minor, G, F sharp minor, E minor. It's better if I just say the chords instead of trying to sing, because I have no idea what the chords are. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm a bit like that. Anyway, so... If you like this song, then make sure you subscribe to Black Market and hit that bell notification to be told of the next great art play. Remember, if you want to support us on Patreon, if there's a specific song that you want, definitely go support us on Patreon. I'll give you a shout and I will do your song. And there's loads of other great songs that we have on the charts at the moment. But if there's one specific you want me to do, then that's the way to go about it. Like and share this video. Follow us on Twitter at PlantMarkVlog or Facebook.com forward slash PlantMarkVlog. And I'll see you in the next tab lesson. Bye!